Oh, Road to Revolution Relationship Problems. Let's go. Woo! Fly away! You know what's funny? I had to redo the Death Triangle match because um, I accidentally shut off my PS5. And the game didn't save, so I had to redo the Death Triangle match. And now here we are. But I still won. You'll see I'm still undefeated. <laughs> oh, I got an email from the office. A sponsor was impressed with your performance at Full Gear. They're offering dinner for two in Toronto. Always nice to have that kind of recognition. <laughs> Even better to share it with someone. You know it. Floating box. Show me what you got. <laughs> Are you ready, Owen Hunt? Huh. So. Do I want to have a completely just friends type thing like my homie? Who is friends with Owen Hart here? Or shall we just ask some random broad out on dates? Um, let's see. Who's, who's, um, you know what, seeing as she's DLC, let's ask the bunny out. Let's get the bunny in here. And seeing as she's kind of gone with the company, and she has one of the worst models in the game. Look at that! Oh, God. Thank you for the invite. I'm glad you consider me someone to hang out with outside the arena. Answer kindly, answer jokingly. I'll answer kindly. We live a crazy lifestyle. Having good people around us keeps us sane. Yeah, I feel the same way. Do either of you have room for dessert? I don't. Owen, what do you think? Will you have dessert? Um, nah, nah, man. I'm trying to lose a little weight. I'll pass. When your job is being half naked on TV, cake is off the menu. That's yeah, true. I can imagine, uh, but you, I'm sorry, but not you being half naked. I'll leave you too. She's totally thinking about <laughs> half naked now. Some people have dirty minds. Ten minutes later. That was delicious and free. Should we go spend some money in Toronto or be financially responsible? Now, hold on. Did we just have dessert? That's crazy. Let's go spend. Toronto's a great place to get in some trouble. I'm down. Sounds good. Since you hooked this up, the next spot is my treat. All done, you two? Just one more thing. Take our picture. Sweet, I get to take a picture with a DLC character. Oh, yeah, look at, look at that awful face model for the bunny there. Oh, my goodness. What were they thinking when they released this character? Right, so... Road to full, I'm sorry, revolution. What are we on, the uh, relationship problems? What's funny is when um, I originally had the other one, I was at breaking point, but seeing as I had to restart, I'm on relationship problems now. Let's see, which one am I missing here? It's at week four, sightseeing, rampage, and revolution. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I don't have to do anything until week four. Um, you could tell, too, because if you remember with the Death Triangle match, I think I only lost 5 energy. And up there, having to redo it, I lost 25. But, um, let's go out. By the way, this is being recorded a day after NXT Deadline. We have AEW's Owen Hart here with us today. You know, I'm fascinated by you wrestlers. Always traveling from town to town. Does it ever get lonely? It can. Our families stay behind, so we form kind of surrogate families and groups while we're on the road. Does love ever <laughs> bloom between wrestlers? After all, fit, attractive people hanging out. This happens, am I right? I don't know about Blossom, but things happen. I think people gravitate to who they can relate to. Excuse me. We wrestlers understand other wrestlers, so some 
of us may pair up. It's inevitable. But plenty of us have our own relationship issues. Owen was a happily married man. This was a highly educational interview. Make sure to watch the AEW family on Dynamite. So hold on a second here. Um, I got nothing. Let's do a match on a uh, rampage. Because Dark is just... Dark's being... Oh, Andrade Alito over facing. Cool. The following contest is set for one fall. I say Dark is lame because, well, Dark got canceled to make for a collision. Making his way to the room. Yeah, number one. As we hold up two fingers and I tell you something, brother. I'm on one hard. Woo. Fireworks. And his opponent, it's Andrade. Black Mask. Il oh, wait. No, it's Andrade Alito. Who also is on collision. And has had some... Oh, good night, God! Had some really good matches lately. You know, I was kind of thinking that, um... I'm a little surprised they don't have a, um... Blue Blazer Owen Hart, like, outfit in this. But I just remembered that, you know, nobody wants to remember him like that. And I think WWE owns that trademark anyway, but... I understand they can only use, like, his, um, what is it, New Japan look, what he was in, or wrestling in Japan, or something like that. That's why he's got the blue outfit, and he's got this orange flash-looking outfit with white knee pads. I was just thinking about that. What? Oh, another challenge! Yes! Five grapple moves! Yeah, baby! And we're just gonna drop Andrade on his head. Not once. Get up. And not twice. That's the joys about like a um, <clears throat> signature like this. You can just spam the hell out of it. Like They have the stunner in this game. And you can spam the hell out of that if you put that as a signature. That was, an, that was a hell of a fact too. That like I said. The sharpshooter is good. But Owen doesn't have really any moves that work the back. I think um, Andrade's learned his lesson now. Don't you? Let's drag his ass over here. Pin him. Come on, Rick Knox. Don't make me make Aubrey Edwards be the next referee in the matches. So I had this thought. Maybe I will do a Road to Elite with all the hidden characters. Because like I said, I kind of want to do one with Cody. And Aubrey Edwards seems like she'd be funny to do one with. And then you got... I also said I want to do one with Mr. Brody Lee. And then um, you also have Paul White, which I'm kind of like, eh, maybe. Thank you for joining us on Ramp. I was trying to do my, uh, I was going to do my best impression of Excalibur there. Poor Excalibur, dude. And by that, I mean, like, whenever they have, like, AEW has a pay-per-view. My God, that man, he runs down that pay-per-view. And dear God. He sounds like he... I'm going to skip this right now because I just want to get the... Uh, oh, cool. Whatever that was. Just wanted to get my um, energy up to 100. Let's go ignite to dynamite. I might do another mini game, Just because. Oh, we're facing the bastard pack, really? The following contest is set for one... At least the bunny comes out with me. We're both blondes. Making there she is! The yeah! Fireworks! Woo! Woo! Get her going! And explode. I kind of wish I could change the camera angle, but... Sadly, Owen doesn't have a camera angle. So. Yeah, let's, let's give Pac some fireworks. He only has like one set, but let's, let's give him that. My god, he has an ugly model in this game, but Pac is also, like I've mentioned, ugly bastard. <laughs> no offense to him, he's an amazing, amazing wrestler, but... My goodness, does he look like a little goblin. I mean, I'm one to talk. I'm not very attractive looking either myself, but... Just saying. I'm going to throw his ass out to the bunny. Here we go. Get out there! Oh, what? Nice recoil attack. Oh, God, why was I going for a stomp? Oh, you know what it was? Owen was um, trying to do a spot there. Like, he was trying to go for one of those punches and stomps on the ground. 
Oh, I'm getting pumped up, baby. Getting pumped. Ow. Ow. All right, that's it. Come here. You go that way, and I'm going to... Oh, atomic... I'm sorry, uh... Reverse atomic drop. I forget what that's actually... I think it's just called that, right? Reverse atomic drop? Oh, right on his damn head. All right, pack. So like I said, there's a couple of people also I want to play this with. Like, CM Punk is definitely one of them because he's... He's maybe guaranteed to be in WWE 2K24, but this so far is the last game that he's in. But, um... Adam Cole is also another one because I love Adam Cole. I love watching his streams. I love the fact he's able to turn that character, like that heel persona on and off so easily. Rick, count, you bastard. What? Kick out, buff. Kick out of this. But, uh, boom. Oh, and hearts and knees are going to be... Oh, he's still in buff mode, too. You can tell by the gold around his name. 2.9. Okay, well. Woo! Owen Hart! Dang it. I should have just gone for a tombstone again. Oh! Nice belly to belly, but guess what? Come here. I'm going to get you over here real quick. And I'm just going to do some damage to you here. Break you in half, Pack. Break you in half. He might actually tap out because Owen has a pretty strong... Nope, never mind. Spoke too soon. Oh, win. Oh, win. There's the finish. Call it. Come on, ref. Count it. Can't you see he's hurt? Damn it. He's hurt. Told you. I apparently broke uh, Pac's ankle while I was doing the sharpshooter. And um, he, he he squeezed my hand saying, I can't, I can't stand. And I'm like, okay, we'll do the finish right here. And... Hey, the bunny! Trying to pull that shoulder out of socket. Owen, oh, perhaps boosted by a bunny in the corner, gets a big win here tonight. For the love of God, stay away from the dipping Dots! One of JR's best calls. The dipping Dots never did anything to anybody. Look at all that money. All right. Where are we going to? I've, I've played this storyline before, too. Uh, the bunny... You know what? I'm not going to say anything. Ooh! Who's here? You know what? I need a rest from intense workouts. Let's do a standard routine. Concentration curls are great because they prevent you from cheating. Go all the way down, all the way up. Squeeze at the top. All right. That was a good little pump. I'll look jacked for dynamite. Actually, sometimes cheat curls can actually help you if you go slow on the way down. Oh, we're doing squats together, me and the bunny. 400. Wait, I thought we were going <laughs> to 500. We Were we? My bad. Phone ring. Are you going to get that? Stop distracting me. Oh, but I got us a tag match. At Dynamite, if you're interested. You and me teaming up? Sure. Phone stop ringing. Phone stops ringing. Hmm. Hmm. Little. We don't have to do anything till week four, right? Relationship problems, right? Week four, yep. And we're only on week two. Um, well, like I said, I'll try another BTE mini game. Which one we got here? Egg Hunt. I don't think I've ever did this one. Oh, great. It's Owen Hart. We needed a fourth, so I guess you can play. It's time to play Egg Hunt. Grab eggs and return them to your corner. Or play defense and wreck other team. We're going to wreck you. Should it be wreck other teams? Even though technically it's four people. Do I look like a red rooster to you? Ooh. Someone better make me an omelet when I win. Well, you can't make an omelet without cracking eggs. This is going to be a sizzling hot battle. 
Whoever eats the most eggs to their corner and gets the most points before time runs out wins. Touch eggs to pick them up. Press square to throw an egg <laughs> into an opponent. Getting hit with an egg will briefly slow you down. Golden eggs are a chance to score big. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it is teams. Okay. Hey, I'm with Kenny. You can call us the Golden Jet. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, that name's already taken. Two. One. Come on, Kenny. Let's go. Get the Golden Egg, Kenny. Give me the Golden Egg, Kenny. Slow to stand, Kenny. <laughs> oh, God. That's, that's fine. You guys can beat the sh out of each other. I'm going to take this little egg. Nick Jackson, go f yourself. Yo, Kenny, nice shot. Give me the golden egg. Oh, wow, I'm, I'm cruising. Yo, me and Kenny Omega. About to be undefeated at minigames so far. Suck egg. Get a big one. This one's kind of fun. Oh, well. Me and Kenny. Yeah, baby. We're both Canadians. We did it. Hold on. 0 and 1? What happened? Everyone gets lucky once in a while, I guess. But now, we got to cough up some SK. Super kick, right? <laughs> SK for stupid kid. Anyway, we'll win next time, guaranteed. BTE. Didn't they stop doing being the elite? And now it's being the Dark Order. Yeah, I have I have no interest in that as much as I like the Dark Order as that goofy sidekick team. Aw, oh, man. The third year law student asks, Do you ever run into trouble on the road? A few misunderstandings here and there, but I try to avoid trouble. Our final question. This press conference sucks. <laughs> From a nursing student. Wrestling looks painful. How do you stay healthy? None of the wrestlers you see are ever 100%. But we learn to endure the pain. On behalf of the university, we thank Owen Hart for speaking with us today. Thank you so much. One thing, although I am kind of glad they didn't do it. I, Nick Jackson, what the hell are you doing here? I know you don't have much of a choice. But you may want to pick your friends a little more carefully. You wanted a free dinner that bad, huh? <laughs> your ugly jumpsuit budget doesn't leave you much left for meals. I don't know why I'm bothering to warn you, but Bunny isn't very trustworthy. Oh. What? And you are, Bucker? Ha, huh, that's funny. You should put that on BTE. I tried to smarten you up, Owen. But if you show up on dark, I'm going to beat you up. Oh, wait. Is this BT? I don't see that stooge Cutler anywhere. Yeah, why is Brandon Cutler not in this game? Do I, oh, no. Did I use up all my turns? I don't. Cool. Let's uh, actually just go to dark because, hey, when's the last time the Bucks were on dark, right? The following contest Nick is Jackson. And not only that, it's a very rare Nick Jackson singles match. Making his way to the ring. Like, um, I think actually the rarer is Matt Jackson. I think he barely wrestles any singles matches. Nick has done a couple singles matches I've seen. And his opponent is one half of the oh, by the way, the Young Bucks are one of the few characters that get streamers for their fireworks. And that. All right, Nick. You have one of the worst models in the game, too. I should say, like, facial models on the character select screen. It looks so stupid. Brah! <laughs> Brah! I'll break your face! This is what you get for just... Actually, I got nothing against the Young Bucks. But I'll say this. This is what you get for doing a... Dude, that was sick looking. For doing a victory lap on collision. What the hell was I going for? After firing CM Punk in his hometown. Uh, I'm sorry for the chair. 
And yes, Nick Jackson has his own voices recording, if you didn't know. I believe it's Nick, Matt, well, I should say the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, CM Punk. Um, I know there's another one. I've heard their voice. Oh, Jericho. Um, there's a couple more that have their own voice clips in the game that you can hear them speak. Because like I said, Jericho has the... Oh, MJF. He has his own voice clips. Um, I think Paul White. I know Malachi Black doesn't. Of course, Owen Hart doesn't. Um, what's her name? Yuka? Oh, look at that! A four and a half star match on AEW Dark. A canceled show. Two shows were canceled to make way for collision. Thank you for joining us for this North of the Border edition of AEW Dark. Sorry. I got confused there. I thought he said North American title match. I, was, I read that too fast. I'm not Excalibur, damn it. Just say this, uh, Excalibur and Taz, they, they're probably, in my opinion, like in terms of chemistry together, just because of the banter they do, probably like the best color commentary team. Oh, we're facing Sting. The following and contest is a tag team <sighs> match set for one What? What? I know the bunny said she got us into a tag team match, but against Sting and Darby? Really? The undefeated team of Sting and Darby at pay-per-views? As of this recording, what was it? Sting's on a 25-match win streak? Yeah, let's give the bunny some fireworks. She's no longer with the company, right? They they silently released her, right? Man, how, how do you think the people feel who made this game? They're like, we're going to make the but Oh, Sting has his own voice, too. I forgot. <laughs> He also has one of the best models in the game. Darby has a good model, too. It's usually the face paint characters that have good models. But how do you think they feel? They're like, okay, we're going to make this character DLC. And the character gets released, or they leave the company. So I know I know Cody left, but... um. I like the fact Kenny said he kept him in the game because Cody did bring a lot to AEW. That would have been messed up if, um, you know, Kenny just decided, yeah, let's cut Cody now. Then you got, um, who else is in this game that isn't in it anymore? Uh, Jade Cargill, but she left before or after the game came out. The Bunny left after she was released as DLC. Uh, who else? Who else? Oh, no, don't you do a secret tag, you bastard. Yeah, you can do you can do blind tags in this, which is crazy. I said secret tag, sorry. It's blind tag. Did Owen Hart ever face Sting like in Japan or something? Um, who else? I don't know. No! All that time wasted. That's okay. Me and the bunny will just beat the piss out of Darby. Oh, double backbreaker. Carlito there. This will be Carlito's first ma first WWE Premium Live Event match. Flyer, there he is in the rumble, and there he is. And that match that Rey Mysterio called in a favor, he said. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Then they just, oh, see, there it was. It was a blind tag right there. This thing just blind tagged it in. I don't know how I have, like, almost infinite special. Never mind. I, I spoke too soon. Sting, you want to show off doing the Scorpion Deathlock? Well, I'm about a Scorpion Death drop on your head. Bunny can't be trusted, huh? Well, let's see how well she does here. One, two, three, she just bitch slapped Darby three. Allen. Oh... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I thought it was magic. Well, Darby Allen winning the first ever coffin match in eight. Yeah, to make that a match, damn it. Oh, and then the bunny showed some real chemistry in defeating an established team tonight. Oh, God, that, that face. Uh, 
I should have picked Aubrey Everidge. That would have been funnier. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Fly away! All right. So we're on week three, right? Yes. Eh, why not? Let's go out. Let's go uh, sightseeing, just in case we run into somebody. Speaking of Aubrey Edwards, hello. Back in nature. So peaceful. I hope no bears are waiting to ambush us. If there are, I hope they'll respect my authority as an AEW official. You know what? Good for Aubrey Edwards. Used to be a video game designer. Turned into an AEW official. I kind of wish they had more hidden characters like this. Like freaking having Excalibur would have been cool as a silly hidden character. Um, Tony Schiavone. Of course, Taz. Uh, JR. But so far, Aubrey is like the only like... AEW official. Like, they could have had Jerry Lynn. I know they have to sign over their likeness and everything, but th this is this is the th type of unlocks I really miss in current wrestling games. Is like silly unlocks like this. By the way, I'm a bit surprised you didn't ask Bunny to come with you. AEW is big, Aubrey. Wrestlers, officials, crew. I have more than one friend in the company. I just think you and Bunny make a good team. A lot better than some people. Bunny has been seen with lately. Okay. And I just want to see the center of this lake. Let's go! Do, do I take a picture with Aubrey? <laughs> Be hilarious. Okay, well, uh, let's uh, go to a press conference. See if anybody wants to challenge us to a match. Booming Minnesota. There's rumors going around that I got a little banged up in my dynamite match last week. And for once, the rumor's true. But this is pro wrestling, not chess. I will keep moving forward and be ready for whatever awaits me at full gear. <laughs> Wait. Full gear? <laughs> we just did full gear. <laughs> I want everyone here and everyone hearing my voice to tune into dynamite. I promise to put on a show that's well worth the time. Thank you in the year 2000. Anybody want to give me advice there? No? All right. Last time we're going to do a, a light workout. Let's see if there's anybody that's going to pop up here and be like, hey, you really shouldn't be talking to the bunny. Get a nice face. Feet shoulder width apart. Keep the knees pointing forward. Get in the flow of breathing. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. I feel that in my quads. Heart rate is elevated, too. Heart rate is elevated. Sorry. Cool. Cool. Anybody? No? 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 Watch Watch it. Um. No, I don't want to do another minigame. Oh, we'll go out to eat real quick, and then um, we'll go to our match on Dynamite. Not much longer, I hope. Here's your Juicy Lucy. It's the cheeseburger. But the cheese is baked inside the hamburger patty. When in Rome, right? Or in this case, Minneapolis. It's Minneapolis' original. Enjoy. Chow down. You mean to tell me, sandwiching cheese inside the burger makes all the difference. How this bar food legend hasn't spread beyond Minnesota is anyone's guess. Cool. Juicy Lucy. Alright. Boom, let's go ignite. Owen's locker room. Yeah, I can work with this. If it isn't Captain Obvious. Hey, two hidden characters. Who, me? True. I have no idea why you're talking to me right now, but unfortunately, I bet you're going to tell me you've been hanging around Bunny a lot lately. That ends as of right now. Understand? Get the papers. Oh, am I grounded too? Gonna take away my TV privilege? Get out of here with that mess, Mr. Brody. 
<laughs> yeah, I figured you wouldn't listen to reason. That's why I got a match against you tonight. Maybe you'll listen to violence. So you're using fabricated beef with me to get booked on dynamite. An upgrade for you. An easy night for me. Okay, you can leave now. <laughs> Beat you later. Oh, uh, Mr. Brody Lee. The following contest is set for uh, R.I.P. Mr. Brody Lee, a.k.a. John Huber, a.k.a. Luke Harper. Making his you know, I'm a bit late saying this. Actually, I might have said this during a different playthrough of a wrestling game. A lot of people got so upset that WWE didn't play like a video package. But, no offense, he wasn't a WWE wrestler at the time. And AEW did a beautiful tribute show. And it was just amazing. It was a really great, great tribute show. And WWE also, I know a lot of people got really upset that the tribute show to um, Terry Funk and Bray Wyatt was more Bray Wyatt than it was Terry Funk. I think it, I think that's because Bray Wyatt was actually an active wrestler on the roster. Terry Funk wasn't, and nothing against Terry Funk. He lived his life like the guy was like what seventy. He lived an amazing life. Bray sadly passed away at like a very young age. That one's still. That one's still unbelievable. Like, it's been... What was it? Was it July? And uh, I'm recording this in December now. Man. If you want to hear more about my thoughts on the passing of Bray Wyatt, I did a um, WWE 2K20 uh, playthrough of the Bump in the Night DLC. Not his, uh, his uh, Fiend Tower I did. The um, Quake and Fear or something. Um, again, yeah, that's so shocking. Like, that was so shocking the day I heard that. And it's so shocking, too, with Brody Lee there, too. Oh, man. It sucks when um, stuff like that happens. Anyway, let's hopefully beat Brody here. Ooh. Nice kick out. He's got the kick out buff. Fun fact in this game, you don't have to do a strong grapple to go into your signature or finisher. If you notice, I've been doing light grapples. I think they take the, um, yeah, they take the, what do you call there? Uh, death jam approach. Because it's the same people that made death jam, I believe. Which, seeing those mods that people uh, modding over Def Jam characters is hilarious to me. And if you're trying to mod over a WWE character, I want to say the the best models that would fit these character models would be their 2K Battleground character models because they kind of have the same art style. <sighs> Owen Hart wins this surprising, vicious match. What's between Owen and Mr. Brody Lee? Cool. Cool. The last time I did this... Play oh, here we go. Sorry, Owen. I don't know why Mr. Brody Lee... It's fine. Some people just want to cause trouble. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, God! <laughs> I was about to say. Maybe delete my number. Okay. Where are these two good friends? Why did the bunny commit such a horrible act? Yeah, look how sad Owen Hart looks now. Nick Jackson warned me. Aubrey Edwards warned me. The bunny has joined the Dark Order. Fly away! Okay. Okay, your turn to meet Owen Hart. Oh, it's Brody Lee! Sweet Jesus! Oh, God! <laughs> Consider that a preview what's to come. No fans, friends, or family are going to... Help you against me and the bunny. Injured. Well, this is a disappointment. You haven't fully recovered from last week's injury. You might want to head back to the hospital for further treatment. Well. Well, actually. What is this, week four? 
Actually, if you just can only be used when injured. Ta-da! Look who is back on the table. And yes, that happens all the time when you do this one. So what do I got to do? Week four, sightseeing, rampage, and revolution. Hopefully win it. So let's go out sightseeing. Then we'll go to rampage and see what happens there. Hey, hey, Chuck E. T. Pro Baseball Stadium. Baseball is an interesting sport. It's a team game, but you also taking turns individually. But when you go to bat, you do so with the support of your team. You want to succeed for them, too. True, but it almost seems like individual competition with additional pressure. But best friends, I sense, excuse me, a lot more support than pressure. That's what makes me such a lucky man. Should we take a picture? No pressure. The Kentucky gentleman, <laughs> Chucky Taylor. Yeah, look at look at that. Doing the Shawn, Mi oh, doing the Shawn Michaels pose and Chucky T. Oh, I see what they were going for here. All right, so it said rampage, right? I gotta hopefully do to get a, another picture. Or to get this Owen Hart picture. Rampage. So. <laughs> they didn't think I'd be recovered by now. What do we got here? Jericho. The following contest is set for one fall. Jericho. Huh, it's funny. Making his way to the last time I played this and got this... Uh, story was when I played with Jericho I become I become I become men yep that's the only way you can hear Judas in this game is if you play as Chris Jericho it, it, it has basically the Cody Rhodes treatment in WWE 2K23 which is strange because you can hear Cody's theme during his entrance during the menu and even during a match The only uh, Jericho theme you can kind of put on somebody is the uh, inner circle theme. And it's not even uh, Judas. Oh, pile driver! Leg drop. Down, 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 down. Tombstone pile driver. <laughs> oh, my head. My head. I think I went too early to Rampage here to get a, uh, or maybe I have to be a female during this, because like I said, the only way you can get one of the pictures is if you're a female, and uh, you do Rampage and you fight uh, Jade Cargill in a ladder match to win the TBS title. One, two, so I'm guessing three. you have to be a female on this storyline do rampage and you get something or Jericho proving he's tough to fringe firing right back at Eddie Kingston Owen has his revenge on the mind after being played by the bunny and Mr. Brody Lee I know I would so do I get a picture I guess not so I guess probably you have to be a female or you have to wait for the uh exclamation point to pop up there to be like hey hey so I got two more turns screw it let's go take on the bunny and Mr. Brody Lee I believe in a handicap match if I'm not mistaken it's Sunday night and you know hey hey Sunday night revolution AEW revolution coming to you now hold on a minute. Isn't it usually all out that's in Chicago and not Revolution? And one of our featured matches proves just that. Will Revolution provide resolution for these three? Wow, he read that so fast, Excalibur. Will Revolution provide resolution 
By the way, the following contest is that dog contest collar match between Brody and Cody, so good. It was short and sweet. And don't get me wrong, CM Punk and um, MJF's dog collar match was amazing too. Wasn't it more like an I quit dog collar? No. No, it wasn't. Because uh, I just remember uh, Punk having, or uh, MJF having the microphone in Punk's face saying, I want you to quit, Punk. Quit. Wait, how is she 1-0? Oh, tag team. Okay. And then Punk's just like, eat shit, Max. Are they both in the ring? Oh, okay. No. Um, mm, mm, you know what? You know what? Thank you. <laughs> this is going to be mean, but... Why not? We've already beaten Brody Lee. The bunny broke our heart. We trusted her. She's supposed to be my friend. And we're going to... Boom! To Brody Lee. He's going to be down for a bit. And for the bunny here, who's supposed to be my friend! You're supposed to be my friend! Taunt buff. When the hell did she taunt? I'm only... I'm only doing this because of the... It just reminded me of the Batista and Rey Mysterio thing. You're supposed to be my friend! Dave, I'm sorry! Uh, they're chanted bunny, but here I am just breaking the bunny's neck. Over and over and over again. My god, either Owen's special is at so much damage that... It does that, or the bunny is just super weak. And she's down. Yeah! All right, Rick. Count. Count, you bastard! One, Sorry for the chair. Three. Oh, you're too late, Brody. You're too late. Did 11 moves. <laughs> uh, what's another challenge I could probably do? Normal difficulty... Britt Baker, Jericho, Thunder Rosa, none of them. Play mini games a total of three times. That's only in your uh, in the main menu. What's uh, the weekly challenge there? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, you want to see my score ranking? Hey! hey! Rico Hina Matoto and Orange Cassidy. Wait. Malachi Black, and Mac Jackson, Malachi Black. And... Hey, hey, Owen Hart and the Bunny. <laughs> Well, Mr. Brody Lee, you just lost to Owen Hardy. After being betrayed by Bunny and attacked by Mr. Brody... Oh, couldn't read that fast enough. We may now know the source of their issues, but hopefully this is all over whatever. <laughs> all I did was invite Bunny to dinner. Then I'm being smashed into screens and put through tables. You two are a perfect pair. Of jackasses, I'm happy to cash out and leave your little games behind. But I'm sure you'll both live happily never after. Goodbye and good riddance. Owen Hart gets the last word in this take of betrayal and jealousy. Now AEW moves on to double or nothing. It's like he will never see Brody Lee and the Bunny, even though they all share the same locker room. I've actually gotten word we're going to have another show called Collision. You can see Mr. Brody Lee and the Bunny on there exclusively while Owen Hart's exclusively on Dynamite. <laughs> the Bunny seems really mad. Well, that's what you get. You should be teaming up with a winner like me, not a loser like Brody Lee over there. I get a nice little picture. Hey, hey! Uh, hey, you guys, uh... Uh... It's me, Owen Hart. How you doing? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part of my AEW Fight Forever Road to Elite with Owen Hart. We're on to the last one. We're going to find out what that is in the next video. It's a double or nothing story. It's one of three. Founders Fall, Challenge Yourself, or I forget the third one. Well, it's one of those three. And Owen Hart gets a random one, or you can constantly keep changing it. My name is Clinkeroth. I thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for the final part of Road to Elite with Owen Hart.